Hi friends, in this small video we are going to be reviewing the ASUS K53S for you. Um, this model has been selling real hot and uh, been a real showstopper for a lot of companies like Flipkart who sell, sold a lot of these uh, machines. So let's just start reviewing, uh, I'll just uh, show what things come along with the box. Uh, this is a quick installation guide it comes along with. We've opened up everything and kept ready for you to be seen. Comes along with a driver CD, 64 bit as well as 32 bit CD, and it comes another user manual as you can see. The adapter that it comes along, the one that we are reviewing today is a Core i5, uh, 4 GB uh, memory, 500 GB hard drive, uh, 2 GB graphic card based uh, laptop. So this comes along with a 90 watt adapter, and uh, the wattage rating is 19 volts and 4.74 amperes. So a good amount of power is needed to charge this thing up. Uh, the battery here, as you can see, is a 6 cell lithium ion battery and uh, it packs with a 5200 mAh uh, capacity, 10.8 volts. So, it gives you a comfortable around 1.5 to 2 hours backup because it's got 2 GB graphic card. If you switch off the graphics, uh, it'll give you better backup. Let's just put the battery in and start reviewing this thing. Okay. So let's start reviewing the top panel here. Uh, as you can see, the top panel has got real neat groovy design. Uh, it's got the color here is uh, chocolate brown to be very precise. It's on the metallic side. Uh, the finish is entirely metallic. As you can see, the grooves, uh, real fine grooves here. The whole top panel has got uh, this groove. Lines cutting across the design. The Asus logo sits pretty. It's got a nice little glossy finish to the design because of its metallic nature here. Okay, let's see. What do we have? We cannot open the laptop with one hand. We have to use two fingers at least. So, we open it up. Okay, so... As you can see, this uh, it's got a metallic palm rest has been committed by Asus, and we see a lot of metal here. Uh, this is entirely metallic. It has got a chromium kind of a finish, uh, metal brown kind of a finish here. The touchpad uh, has got a little deviation from the overall design here. It has uh, got some sort of what do you say, matte finish to it. Uh, it's uh, the red and light left clicker different keys is not uh, one homogeneous key as you can see the entire metallic finish uh, gives the machine a real look, uh, good look actually the chiclet keyboard adds to it uh, the keys are not all that big uh, neat enough it's not uh, if you compare with Lenovo Z 570s uh, chiclet keyboard a little smaller but good for the given price it's got Altec launching speakers two speakers here as you can see one single power button which almost all Asus netbooks or notebooks come with these nowadays this is how the laptop looks for you let's have a look at the Basil here. Uh, let's try. So it has got a metallic finish to it. Entirely glossy design, glossy finish to the bezel. And uh, even the screen has got a glossy finish to it and uh, it's pretty reflective. Come to the left side, as you can see the heat vent is pretty huge, uh, uh, good amount of heat can be dissipated uh, because the size of the heat vent is quite neat. The slimness as you can see is uh, standard uh, slimness, uh, nothing very slim to talk about. Charging port is here, the Ethernet port, VGA port, HDMI and it's got a USB 3.0, that's a good thing. On the front panel, as you can see, the speakers uh, were uh, on the K53 
keyboard itself uh, if you could see these small little openings here these are not speakers you have the memory card reader here and no other port on the right side you have a headphone and a mic jack you have two usb ports a dvd writer and you have the kensington lock let's look at the base base is very neat uh, if you could see uh, this entire panel if opened up you can change the hard drive as well as the ram of uh, this laptop and it's got leather textured finish to the entire thing as you can see looks very durable looks uh, good for me the only thing that bothers me on uh, the aesthetics and designs part is the fragileness of the screen that is here if you would see if I would just press it uh, it's not all that durable actually maybe uh, in the matter of around three to four years you will start to see a little bit of openness on this thing so this this is a little bit of a downer actually all in all, uh, very good laptop for this price uh, in India. It's uh, at forty thousand rupees. You get a two GB graphic card and Core i five second generation, four GB and five hundred GB hard drive. Should be a very good price to buy at. So this, my friends, is the review for the Asus K fifty three series. All the Asus K fifty three and X fifty three look the same. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever. The only thing that changes here is the configuration. Some might be Core i three, is a Core i five, is a Core i sevens. But the looks and finish look the same and that is what we are here for to show to you. So hope you like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get the latest updates of uh, our videos. Thanks a lot for watching.